So that's the real dichotomy, and I hope that you know we can make it clear throughout the archipelago that that's the real conflict there. Are you for or against democratic process? So we have a few more minutes uh, to uh, for questions or comments. Uh, would anyone like to uh, uh, ask a question at this point before we uh, start selling books and signing them? No, no questions. We've answered. We've, we've solved all problems. Um, yes, sir. Besides writing a book and talking to legislatures and trying to get something done, did did you lose hope in this overall process? I mean, it it, it, it diminishes hope when when everything you do legally and fighting and talking about it and it all falls apart. And like you said, the media doesn't cover it. And our local media channel here is being attacked viciously by developers and by the legislature to try to overthrow it and control it. How do you keep going and what else would you recommend do besides what we're already doing? Actually, I think of this story as a very positive story. I feel like um, uh, I've been involved, you know, I, I, I've been an activist most of my life and uh, over uh, 40 years and have been involved in the hundreds of different issues and campaigns. And I think, I think, I think this is going to be a win. I, I, I personally, it's already been a half a win because uh, in Maui, you've already gotten the Supreme Court to say, stop running this boat without, until, it's, until it obeys the law. And then on Oahu, they overturned that because of uh, manipulations by the governor and the legislature. And uh, on Kauai, they stopped the boat completely. And on the Big Island, they're not even going to start running the boat, uh, apparently. And we don't know all the details about that, but my suspicion is that it's because the boat is really not profitable. So I think the boat is... Um, is definitely um, uh, on its, you know, having a hard time surviving. I think the activists in Kauai did a tremendous job in terms of <coughs> holding their ground, making clear choices, saying what they want. What they want is following the law. They want to follow the process, and they succeeded. On Maui, it's still coming to Maui, but the legal cases on Maui look very strong to me, and I think it's back in court again, and I. Believe that um, I believe that uh, it will it will have a positive outcome, and if not, then people have to keep fighting about it. But this is not a this is not an example of a losing struggle, in my opinion. Yes. Could we possibly get an update from Irene Bowie? <laughs> She's as involved as anybody has from the beginning, and you know where we stand with the court case. We're just going back into court on the 18th of December, so we're... That's, that's, that's where it is right yeah. now? It's Before the Supreme Court on the 18th. That's true. <laughs> you have the story and to tell. The, what's going to be argued is whether or not it was constitutional to set up Act 2, which is designed for, as it's written, a high-speed, large-capacity large capacity vessel. High speed vessel. Right. And if it was generic like that, or was it really set up to to favor one single company will be what's at issue. And of course, if it was for one single company, that is not constitutional. Um, I was just wondering, I work up on the west side, and I've seen the whales about going now, and also see the super ferry running through the, the low channel. And I'm wondering, what is the update for um, the whale situation now that the whales are here for the super ferry? Well, Hannah Bernard is in the back. Hannah Bernard was one of the writers, and she's a, a biologist here on Maui, and she could probably answer that question. I'm sorry, what's the question? What's the, this what's the update, update on now that it is whale season and the whales are out there and the super is still running? What, do they have any sort of restrictions or anything that they need to no. They don't even need to go around the other side of Maui. No, they, they had said that they would, right, depending on the weather, but they have a task force that they set up for a year to look at all of these measures, and the task force ends this month, and at this point, it doesn't look like they're going to really ask for anything, so we'll see. we're still hopeful. <laughs> yeah, the weather is such that um, they're going to have to come through the Pilolo Channel because the weather is pretty rugged on the other side of Molokai, so we always felt like that.
more questions? Anybody? Okay, well, um, if there are no more questions, then we'll, um, we'll sit here for a while. Is that what we do? You sit here. We sit here, and um, you uh, hopefully would like to buy a book. It's a very fun read, I might say. It's, it's very fun. varied. It's, uh, it's entertaining in a lot of ways. It's got a beautiful cover drawing by Mayuma, Mayumi Oda, a very world-famous artist. Um, uh, this is a famous lithograph that she donated to us to uh, put on the cover because she lives on the Big Island and is uh, very involved in this issue. And um, so thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. For you, I have sharpies. I have sharpies. Sharpie. Um, yeah, and if you would like them to personalize a copy to you, please come this side, and we will take care of you. And I appreciate everybody coming. Thank you very much. Thank you.